and now we move on to the post-movie era. There are quite a few guys released in just the last few years here. Starting off the post-movie era with Forbidden Spin Jitsu Kai. This has become the default version of Kai for the show. Can't say I'm a huge fan of that. I find this to be a bit more of a bland variant of Kai, especially compared to some of the other default versions we've got before, like the uh, ZX. Even the last Legacy version I liked a lot better. Or the Honor Robes, which is probably my favorite if that would have been default. Still utilizing the same hood as the Legacy version, though with a new elemental symbol printed on it, this in this orangish color, which I don't really like much as well. We've also got this new shoulder pad piece in gunmetal, this uh, shuriken type symbol on it, which almost seems to become a new emblem for the ninja. And just looking at the back here, quite a bit of detail as well there. Have those straps continuing from the front. Overall, it's a pretty good variant. Not my favorite. Not my least favorite. Don't dislike it. Don't love it. Now, there is one more variant of the Forbidden Spinjitsu Kai I've got to go over. And that's Kai FS, as it is sometimes listed. Or this is really the version of Kai using Forbidden Spinjitsu. Only difference is that he has this hood with the flames on it, which I find pretty cool. I count this as its own version because this hood piece only comes with this Kai minifigure. And then we have Spinjitsu Slam Kai. Now, we got some cool variants again for the spinners, finally. Utilizing a really cool metallic print on the torso. Having more gold in it, along with the red, is the same legs as the Forbidden Spinjitsu Kai minifigure, but they match up a lot better than the Spinjitsu Masters version. And we also have an exclusive face print, which is really nice to see. He doesn't have the band-aid there, and that is awesome. Those eyebrows also resemble the older version of Kai quite a bit, being they're not in that brown color now, but rather in the black Really like this version overall, though. One of the better spinner or fire variants. Moving on, we have Digikai from Prime Empire. The Digisuits are really awesome. One of my favorite variants we've ever gotten, just because of how different they are. We've got this new armor piece, which is incredibly bulky, but still really cool. I love the distribution of the white and the blue with it. How we have this asymmetry going on and this head print with the visor. That looks so awesome. We also get Kai without the band-aid, even though he has this really dopey looking expression on him. Unfortunately, you don't often get to see it with the armor, but the back of these figures is detailed pretty good as well. Now the white doesn't print great, and Lego has not been doing great with light print on dark color for quite a while, and that's a shame, though you don't notice it that much overall. I just hope they get that fixed in the future. One more quick note on this little display up here in this new hood piece. We do have the elemental symbol Kai was given in Forbidden Spinjitsu displayed in blue. Continuing with Prime Empire, we have Avatar Kai. This is another spinner type set. It's not a spinner at all though, it's the arcade pods. But it's that one of those $10 little packs come with exclusive minifigure. Again, utilizes the same leg printing, which it could be better there. That's kind of disappointing, but it does match up well with the torso, so I can let it slide here. We also get Kai's hairpiece reprinted for the first time in Ninjago, this time in blonde. And blonde is exclusive overall. The only other color I can recall seeing it in is in a, I believe, spring green color in a hidden side set. Kind of resembles his Tournament of Elements robes, though uh, one of the things back here, we've got this Cobra, which is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the Cobra Kai from Karate Kid. The chest printing is a little duller than minifigure skin tone should be, though. It's worse in other figures than it is here, so I'm alright with it. It could be worse. Really cool variant. I love how different it is. I love getting that exclusive face print as well. Now, also having released in 2020, we have the new Legacy Kai. As Ninjago Legacy continued into this year, this is a version that's technically called Rebooted Legacy Kai, though it 
bears much more resemblance to the Tournament of Elements version of Kai. If you look at it side by side, rebooted, really there's not much similarity at all. But if you look at it side by side with Tournament of Elements Kai, you can see there's some obvious inspiration of the same elemental symbols. In the back, we've got that elemental creature, just like on the Tournament of Elements version. Overall, this one's pretty cool, though it has been oversaturated in a lot of sets since it came out, and so far is non-canon to the show. And continuing with Summer Wave 2020, we have Master of the Mountain Kai, the Medieval Armor Kai. I'm a really big fan of these Master of the Mountain variants as well, as they're very different from what we've gotten before. Kai utilizes quite a lot of gold here, which goes well with all the red. The pants are again the same as his Forbidden Spinjitzu variant. Some of the Forbidden, or some of the Master of the Mountain variants have new pants prints. Some of them do not. Of course, this hood print is new overall, having the shorter back end as well to utilize this new armor plate. Now, this stud on the back here will often utilize a gold clip brick. To hold his weapon, which can make it quite bulky, but it does make it pretty versatile for what it can hold back there. And if we take a look at the back without the armor here, not all that much, just some straps holding up that lion plate in the front. Overall though, really cool variant, something very different, and something I hope we see Ninjago continue to do. Also part of the Master of the Mountain Wave, we have Spinjitzu Burst Kai. Now the pants on this one are finally not the same pants as the Forbidden Spinjitzu Kai. However, they are the same as the new rebooted Legacy Kai. So still no exclusive pants. I don't know why LEGO won't give them the budget for their own pants. However, this is a really cool variant in its own right. Just look at the back there with that dragon. Oh, that's really cool. It doesn't have the metallic printing, which is interesting they wouldn't do that. Though it's very cool in its own right. The dark red torso contrasting with the printing on it works really well. Got another exclusive face print for Kai. I love how they have like the scar being utilized in the print this time. That's really awesome. The hood isn't anything special, which is disappointing. But they also come with a little rice hat as well. Overall, this is really cool. I really like Spinitsu Verse variants. I wish we'd gotten more than three. Glad we got one for Kai though. And now we're into 2021, which at the time of the recording is the current wave for Ninjago. Winter Wave bringing us this new spinner type variant, though it didn't come with a spinner. It's more along the lines of the arcade pod again, being a battle pack. These battle pack variants are really awesome. Now you've got exclusive pants, exclusive torso, and the new hairpiece with the island wave. It's really cool overall. This is so different than everything else we've seen with Kai, and I really like it. Got this, like, wife beater type t-shirt on him. And, oh man, this is just so cool. I love getting a figure that's this unique in one of those $10 packs. It really bumps up the value. Hope this is a sign of things to come. I love all the other variants of Ninja in this wave as well. So... Hopefully it continues going forward, and hopefully Lloyd and Nia get the same treatment. Also, we've got the 10th anniversary Golden Kai. This taking inspiration from the Fire and Ice chapter, just in using that hood and armor piece. All of the Golden Ninjas seem to take inspiration from one of the last few post-Will Film era versions. This is the first time we've gotten that hood printed in the gold and red. The elemental symbol utilizes seems to be the latest one right down here. And on the back, it seems to utilize that same symbol. We'll do an entire video just on the elemental symbols at some point, as I find it a really fascinating subject. Now, this isn't the only version of Gold Kai we've gotten, but we will get to the other one later. I wasn't sure quite where to place it in the video. And lastly, the latest version of Kai is the island version of Kai, having that new hairpiece, which technically was first released in the Battle Pack version, as those came out a couple of months before the island sets dropped. Overall, though, I really like these new island sets. I like going back to the hair over hood for a wave here. And I like the utilization of more dark colors. Back again is nothing too special, just utilizing that new elemental symbol and some straps. 
we can see the dark red kind of blend into the printing as well, and I find that really cool.